I watch for first off the board is landing is a direct result of, uh, in my opinion, of where the posture is in midair. So posture straight up and down, eyes forward, chest forward, not steering down will help with where you need to be in the pit and how you're going to land the jump. You know, the biggest mistake, especially uh, the biggest mistake, and I still have kids that do it, is when they get up in the air and they're mid they're, they're midair, the first reaction is they want to protect themselves and know where they're landing. That's a natural human instinct. So you're going to glance down. As soon as the eyes glance down or steer down just ever so slightly, that chest is going to fall with it. When the chest falls with it, um, then the land is a disaster. It's not going to go well. We need, you're probably not going to get any chance to extend the legs. Um, you're not going to get a chance to drive the knees to the chest and then extend. And you know, a lot of time I say knees to, ch knees to chest, then extend. And our kids have a bunch of different cues that they like. And one of them likes uh, get up and stay up. You know, get your knees, get, get up and stay up. You know, and that works for him. Um, another kid says knees to chest and extend. He has to think that before he lands. And it works. So, uh, but what I will say this, when all of that usually tends to go wrong, it's usually a result of them steering to their landing. So they're looking towards where they're going to land and that changes their posture entirely going into the pit. In the middle of the jump, basically, once you re your, reach your maximum height, your goal is to get as much distance as possible by extension of the legs. In the air, it would look something if I had both feet up. I'd come up, bring both knees up to my chest, and not chest to knees, but knees to chest so that you stay upright and tall, and then bring those toes out, hands forward, and it's kind of like pulling your pants up. So a very common mistake that people make that causes over rotation and therefore a shorter jump is when they bring their chest to their knees, which causes pelvic anterior tilt and your feet will fall. We wanna make sure that we keep our chest tall and bring our knees up to our chest so that we can stay upright, that tall posture, and then use that full extension of the legs and into the pit. So the ideal landing is actually on your bottom. And the reason that is, is because you want to get every bit of, of distance that you can. If you land on your feet versus landing on your bottom, you can create one to two feet difference in the jump. Ideally, you want to, as you are coming down after the full extension, you want to bring your heels into the pit and bring your bottom straight directly into. You want to collapse into your feet. So a lot of individuals like to just drop their feet as they're coming down, but we can actually get almost a foot further if we were to extend the feet, collapse into it, and let momentum carry yourself through. You know you've done a full extension landing correctly if you have a dirty butt, which is a whole lot better than dusty shoes.